Today, I'm gonna help you decide which Mac you should buy if you're a student. There's tons of them to choose from, so I understand it can be very difficult to decide. Okay, so the first thing that you need to decide on if you're a student is, do you want a laptop? Do you want a MacBook? Or do you want a desktop? That will just stay there. A MacBook, you can take it anywhere you want. Okay, in terms of desktops, you've got three, well, technically four desktops that you can choose from. The Mac Mini, the Mac Studio, the iMac, and technically the studio display, which is a monitor. We're gonna take out the Mac Studio out of the way because if you're a student, I mean, unless you study video editing or something that you really need a lot of power with, I would not recommend the Mac Studio for a student because it's just too expensive and it's just not for everyone, right? That leaves us with the Mac Mini or the iMac. I would definitely recommend the iMac for families, for example. I think it's a great desktop. I love my iMac. But if you're a student and you're always in the go, the iMac might not be for you, especially for students. I mean, if your family has one, it's great. So we're also going to leave the iMac out of the way. That leaves us with the Mac Mini, a very portable, powerful, affordable Mac that you can take anywhere. The only thing that you need is a display. There's actually a lot of students around the world that actually love the Mac Mini because it's so thin, so portable that they can just throw it in their backpack and once they go back home from college, they've already got a little monitor set up at home. And then once they go back to college, they've got another monitor in college. You can do that as well. So we're not gonna leave the Mac Mini out of the way. I definitely recommend the Mac Mini if you're a student. It comes with a very powerful chip, the M2 or the M2 Pro. They're chips that I know I'm not supposed to talk about specs, but they're basically chips that will last you a long time. They're very powerful and more than enough, obviously, if you're a student. So the Mac Mini could be your next Mac. All right, we've now debated the desktop side of things. Let's debate on the MacBook side of things. And then at the end of the video, we'll decide which one is the ideal for you. Because obviously there's no perfect answer. It all depends on what you have, what your budget is and all of that. Okay, the MacBook. I'm gonna say there's four MacBooks that you can choose from if you're a student. We've got the M1 MacBook Air, the M2 MacBook Air, and then we've got the 14 inch MacBook Pro and the 16 inch MacBook Pro, four of them to choose from. Now things have changed throughout the years. If you were to ask me this question on which Mac you should get if you're a student, which MacBook, years ago, I would have told you, huh, well, the MacBook Pro is way much more powerful than the Air, so that doesn't happen today days because the MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro, if you're a student, in terms of performance, they will all just do just fine. All right, so I'm gonna be very honest. The cheapest M1 MacBook Air is a great solution if you're in a budget. It has a more outdated design compared to the M2 and the MacBook Pros. You've got less ports, bigger bezels, and it comes with the M1 chip, which is the slowest chip that Apple currently offers for a Mac. But once again, today days, the M1 chip is so fast and so powerful and more than enough for students that it makes it a very easy recommendation because the MacBook Air M1 I wouldn't say it's cheap because all MacBooks are obviously expensive, but the M1 MacBook Air is the cheapest and the most affordable MacBook that you can buy, and it's not a bad decision. With that in mind, the M2 MacBook Air comes in the way. With a more beautiful design, with a way much more modern looking design, with more ports, with also a larger size, the 15 inch MacBook Air, with also a brighter display, the M1 has 400 nits and this one has 500, so a little bit brighter as well. And you've also got the M2 chip, which is a little bit faster than the M1. They both have up to 18 hours of battery life. So I'm gonna say this, if you're really tight in a budget, go ahead with the M1 MacBook Air. If you're not that, that tight in a budget and you can't afford the M2 MacBook Air, that's your choice. Unless you want the MacBook Pro, which is our last option before we jump into our final conclusions. The MacBook Pro is obviously the best Mac that Apple currently offers. It's also the most expensive. It comes with 14 and 16 inches. Now the biggest differences between the Air and the Pro are one, the display. It's got double the brightness of the MacBook Air. So if the M2 MacBook Air has 500 nits, the MacBook Pro has up to 1000 nits of brightness, which makes it a very big deal for students. If you love to work outdoors, sometimes the MacBook Air, you're, you're kind of gonna be like, I need more brightness. With the MacBook Pro, 
you will definitely not have that problem. It also has way improved battery life coming up to 22 hours of battery life. It's also got more ports. It's also got an SD card slot. And it's also obviously the most powerful MacBook ever coming with the M3 or the M3 Pro or with the M3 Max chips, which are basically chips that if you're a student, the previous MacBooks are already blazing fast for just students that you won't really notice the difference unless you study film or graphic design. If you study that, I would definitely recommend the Pro, but if you study just a standard degree, which MacBook should you get? All right, let's start with our final conclusions. Which Mac should you get? The Mac Mini, the MacBook Air M1, the MacBook Air M2, or the MacBook Pro? I would recommend the Mac Mini if you already have a setup at home and in college. You have two monitors that you can just plug in and take home. It's a very portable MacBook, a very powerful MacBook that for the price, you obviously don't pay for a display so Apple can actually put a bunch more performance in it. So it's a very good deal. I would definitely consider the Mac Mini if you have displays, if you have two different setups, and if you don't really need to work in libraries unless you have an iPad. If you have an iPad, definitely keep the Mac Mini in mind. Next up, the MacBook Air M1. I would definitely recommend it if you're really tight in a budget. Really, really recommend it. My girlfriend, for example, she was in a budget. She didn't want to spend too much in a Mac and she's been loving her M1 MacBook Air and she's totally happy with it. Then the M2 MacBook Air, I'd say is the perfect student MacBook. It's got everything you need and more for a student. So if you have the money, my winner of this entire comparison would be the M2 MacBook Air. There's obviously the budget, the Mac Mini, and the MacBook Pro, and to finalize my conclusion, the MacBook Pro, if you don't really care about the budget and it's like, yeah, my grandma from Colorado is buying me a MacBook, go ahead, get the MacBook Pro. You're gonna have everything you want. But once again, obviously my winner is the M2 MacBook Air. If you actually wanna watch my full review on it, you can tap this video right here. If you wanna watch my review of the Mac Mini or the MacBook Pro, they're all in my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I helped you out and I didn't stress you out too much because I know it's, it's really stressful to, to choose a Mac. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below which one did you end up getting and what are you studying in college and I'll see you in the next one. I love you guys. Bye-bye. Subscribe if you're new. Bye-bye.